Hello everyone, welcome back to another, um, like, half, half a year late Tempest Trial video. Um, I'm joined with, with here with, um, uh, Jordi and Tacho. Welcome everyone. It's been a, a long time. It has been. Yeah, I feel like it's been ages since the last time we did this. When was the last one that we did? <laughs> like, like, oh. four months five months ago or four months ago or something i don't even remember I, the one that i remember the most was the one where we talked about niffle when she had first came out we might have did one or two after that but i i don't i, I don't remember i haven't really been keeping track <laughs> yeah i don't remember it's been a while i've been pretty well all that whole time i'm just like oh so unmotivated with the game but now i'm feeling now i've been in good spirits lately just, you just won. with everything. <laughs> you beat the you game. Beat the game. <laughs> I sure did. And also just things going on in my life. Like, I've been particularly good spirits, so I'm feeling more motivated to make, I guess, continue to Tempest Trial videos. Oh my, oh my god, it's the holiday cheer. <laughs> well, that, that's a good thing. More Wylia is a good thing. Oh, yeah. So... That time you vanished after the Deirdre summons, everyone was just, like, <laughs> worrying about you. Oh, no. Was it that bad? <laughs> you were, yeah, you were gone a while. <laughs> I don't even... <laughs> <laughs> That's just, like, normal for me, to be honest. Like, just, just vanishing, like, without telling anyone. I think it's normal, but I guess that's not normal behavior to people. <laughs> it's not. No, I, I was like, is she okay? Maybe I should check on her but yeah but, um a lot of stuff has happened since the last time we did one of these we have we're, we're in book seven now yeah <laughs> yeah book seven and the power creep has been going so so fast and so hard it's like a train with no brakes at this point mm -hmm. this game literally is a runaway train <laughs> yeah, we've got like Quick Repost 4, and now we're seeing Special Fighter 4 in the game. Like, what's next? Yeah, we, we have a unit that just ends the enemy's turn. Literally, <laughs> it's nasty. Yeah. <gasps> I'm. Oh, man. Jordy, what are your thoughts on Book 7, by the way? Um, I. I. I don't have I, thoughts. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> Um, honestly, I don't. Like, I just, I, I really don't really play Faye for the story. Like, I'll read it, but, like, I really won't pay it any thought. I'm just trying to get my orbs. That's <laughs> all I want. I really don't <laughs> care for the story. Yeah. Like, kill <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of people are in that boat, man. They just, they play the story and they press the skip button and they just clear it to get the orbs and that's it. I mean, is yeah. that not how it's supposed to be played? You can't like, tell me people pay attention. <laughs> I'll read it the first time just so that I'm like in the know, but like I don't care. Like Alphonse, just give up your kingdom, Veronica. Why are you still alive? Why is Bruno dead? Like, <laughs> like is, no, seriously, why is Bruno dead? He just died for nothing. They always kill off characters for seemingly no reason. It's so I think dumb. the worst one was no dying in book five because I was just like, what's the point? <laughs> it was so unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. Truly. Truly, truly. Like, We're... is it supposed to add dramatic tension? Because I don't feel... I mean, it doesn't because next thing you know, we just summon them and they're A-OK. -okay and they're That does up. that never made any sense when they just summon people. Like, Bruno died, but now he's here without a shirt and a, and a Santa hat on. We're kind of like, okay. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. Yep. We just summon their seasonal version and there they are in the forging bonds like they never died. Like, they're A-OK. -okay. <laughs> exactly. There's no point. Oh, speaking of Bruno, they say that um today's today's um this year's legendary is supposed to be um blue. So what if they do like Bruno? Stop. No. Nah, well, actually, huh. it's blue. Blue is the one that was predicted. I he would. Had, he had that arcane. Like I don't know if it was arcane, but he had that new weapon on one of the maps in Book Six. I think a lot of people, yeah, were suggesting that it looked like an arcane weapon, so it's kind of surprising. I mean, I think that if we were to get Bruno, I think, you know, as a rearmed unit would make a lot of sense. Um, but, but if he but, was but. the legendary <laughs> this month, I would simply cry. Well, we're going to find out tomorrow. The trailer is tomorrow. 
Yeah. Yeah, um, probably by the time this video goes up, the trailer might be out, actually. Maybe. Yeah, so predictions here. This video might go on tonight. Not to date the episode, but maybe tonight if I can get my shit together. <laughs> I'd be so sad if it were Bruno, just because I really, really, really want Bruno. Um, do you have any orbs? I do have a lot of orbs saved up right now. But the thing is, um, I can say this because I know Tacho. I know both of you guys have played Talius. I really, really like ronulf he's one of my favorite characters and i feel like he's finally gonna get his new year's alt because like all the other tellius cats seem to be getting them but he hasn't so i finally <laughs> think it's like his year and so i've been saving up my orbs in case that happens and so if bruno ends up being a legendary this week <laughs> i will be very torn is that why you that. said you'll cry <laughs> yes Yes. Well, that's a pretty good point. I wasn't thinking about who we might get for New Year. I think usually they like to do the OCs from the latest book. Oh, for yes. New Year. Yeah. So people are predicting New Year Ash and stuff. Yeah. They usually sneak in like one beast unit or two. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. they have been doing that repeatedly, like consistently over the years. So that's why I think they're going to have Ronald this year. But I don't know. Maybe it's just Copium. Let me Why tell you a I... scary story. Ranulf was the demo with no good skills. I know. <laughs> yeah, I could see that happening too. But he, maybe they'll make him the Tempest Trial unit. That wouldn't be terrible. That wouldn't <laughs> be terrible actually, because then that means I'll have a lot of orbs saved up that I could spend on fodder if I wanted to. And we just got the double special heroes banner too today, which is also very tempting. I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh god, that looks that colorless looks really good. <laughs> this is a surprisingly good banner, this double special. It's really good. Green Between... and colorless are kings. I mean, Lynn is like really prime fodder too, though. Kath is alright. Yeah. A Kath lot of people her. want that godlike reflexes. Yes. What does I mean take yeah, take a look at that. Ooh. Godlike reflexes plus speed smoke, that is hot. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty solid. Oh my god, That's... my screen cuts off the, the weapon the skill thing. I didn't realize that. <laughs> oh. On my on my on my OBS. So people are gonna gotcha. be seeing like a little bit of half, but well. It's okay. They know they know what it does. It does yeah, things. They know what it does. It does lots of good things. Oh god, yeah. that's actually really good fodder. God damn it. <laughs> It is really yeah. good fodder, but who does she color? Uh, what does Kath have? In the... Kath, not the push skill. Oh my god! Kath's fodder. Her fodder isn't the greatest, but no. as a unit for use, she's actually pretty strong. Yeah, oh, all of god. the units on that banner were really strong. I'm just like, attack speed push four. That's literally the token A slot that they give like almost every harmonic or duo unit. Yeah, pretty much. It, it's I, I feel like by this point we have better A skills now for attack and speed. Yeah, so, this is trash. I feel like the only one I, I worth mentioning worth these. The only A skill now are the finish skills. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Finish is really good. Also, I think the clash skills are pretty good too. Yeah. I still like ideal and catch skills for their respective movement types as well. Th those aren't too bad. Yeah. Have you guys ever been attacked by this Tana? I never have, actually. I don't know what that's I, like, but that looks scary. I have never even fought this unit once. I, have you I ever seen a, a Max anywhere. Invested one of these? No. Nope. With, with, like, double life and death? <laughs> nope. Oh, you're missing out. Is she good? I mean, she just pierces through things. She also gives, like, can that Canto 1. So she yeah, can I, mess pe mess I feel, you up. I like that she gives Kanto to allies, but I feel like she got a little devalued when they gave that same effect to legendary Elliewood on his refine. Mm -hmm. but like the Kanto support would have been the main reason I would have wanted her. I, I feel like I'd rather just use Elliewood at this point. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Different move, like completely different movement types, though, and everything. Like, so I guess, like, I don't know. What doesn't her harmonic skill allow you to? What does it do? It's it's also like a dance. It's a right? dance. It's a dance. Yeah. Yeah. So like, different things. So these, much different. these assholes Solid. can just mess you up. I want her fodder. That fodder is really. Wiley, you sound like you've been scarred by them. No. 
No, I swear. I've seen it, but nothing, nothing's quick, happened. <laughs> wait, quick question. Go back to Tana for a second. What, what do you guys, I feel like, I don't know if we talked about this because like, we took like a little bit of a hiatus. What do you guys think about those hold skills? I don't know yet if I care for them, but I would love to hear your opinions. Uh... They're not different enough from the yeah. level three range skills, in my opinion. Yeah. They only have one extra range, which can come in handy, but I, I feel like at this point we have better C skills to run. That's what I thought, too. Okay, because I was like, mm, am I just being baited by the shiny gold border, or is there actual value there? You got baited, actually. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what it is. I'm like, okay, I, I don't need Tana. I feel like they made this for, like, save balls. Like, you just slapped this on, like, the Hinoka. Yeah, but, yeah, mm. but, I mean, save balls died. Yeah. Thanks to Embla. So. <laughs> they died in Dark Season. <laughs> yeah. And Chaos Season. Right, chaos season. A season of chaos. Mm. Um, hey Jordy, are you glad to see the summer Dimitri back? Now's your chance. I am. I'm <laughs> planning to spark for him on my three houses account. He's also just got really solid fodder too for anybody that wants those skills. Oh, I remember Anyways. when he came out and people were like, it was the same time when um, legendary Xander came out and people were like, what's the point of using Xander when this guy has has like a brave weapon built in and he Literally. has cancel? Yeah. And I was like, Literally. dead on arrival. Oh no. Yeah, pretty much. I, I can't. I still. I'm still kind of stunned that they gave him a brave weapon and atrocity. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. It's nuts. Like, I love Dimitri, and, like, I would love to plus 10 this guy. Like, it'll probably be a slow oh. thing. I don't feel any desperation or urgency to do it immediately, but, like, I will definitely go ahead and spark for this uh, copy on this banner for sure. Oh, my God. And then, colorless, this unit. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're pretty bananas. It, yeah. You know, it, it really stuns me to see people downplaying how good this unit is. Mmm, really? Because they're literally just Yuri times 10. It's nasty. They're like Yuri on crack. Hey! And people don't... I, I don't know, like, people are saying they're a skip. I'm, I, I don't know, I don't see it. Um, does Kanto control stop this Kanto, right? Yeah, it, it does. Huh, well, <laughs> I can see why. <laughs> Flop. <laughs> it would, yeah. I mean, she's super weak, so if, like, if you were to, like, get rid of, use counter control and just attack her, like, she, I mean, she'll just attack her regardless. She's, she's so frail. But yeah, she but just she... gets the bonus damage just because of the penalty and it's nuts. <laughs> you can get rid of their unit that has canto control then they, they just lose instantly <laughs> if you have this unit because there's no way to play around her mm -hmm. duo skill is reusable too so she can potentially get the extra movement multiple times in a fight that's nasty oh they're really strong especially with embla now you can turn off save skills they can just run up attack and get out of the way they're a dagger too so they have lethality you can give them disarm trap and they're basically the best hit and run unit for aether raids oh they come with lethality i don't think i even noticed that yeah th this unit is beyond good yeah chill def res 3 is also like really solid for them it's like that splash okay. that splash because they know because but specifically for them because they want the debuffs on the enemy oh right? yeah 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 I feel like there's better ways to debuff than using chills. Oh, okay. It looks like doesn't it have a pretty big range. The new chill, the tier, the new. Um, um, yeah, it, it hits the target and then targets in two spaces of that target. Yeah, that's like. Hmm. And then targets within two spaces, and then their cousins and their moms. Yeah, you could possibly hit their whole team with that if they're in the right position. Mm-hmm. I was actually really interested in this nipple because she just she just straight up cannot attack if she's faster than you. And I'm kind of like, hmm, this is already better than base nipple. The bougie mama. I love her art. The <laughs> bougie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her with the, the pinky out with her, like, holding the spoon, eating her little icy. Oh, does a lot of units on this banner have attack speed catch four. That's pretty nice for me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and this this unit is really good on the player phase too she's like 
she's in the tops for best melee player phase units because she has the fire sweep built into her weapon. Mm -hmm. Gets attack and speed up six. She's got null follow up. She's got minus one special trigger. She does everything you want her to do. She's got like the the base the base kit you need for for like a new a newer gen unit is to have like no follow up in your weapon. Yeah. Huh. Kind of sucks that I don't have Fae Pass because I would have loved to have gotten like both the colorless units and maybe even the oh god, I could technically Wait, get it. <laughs> on the who's left on the banner? Uh, Who the is? the red demotes. Uh oh yeah. Mary, your yeah, teacher. The... <laughs> marry your teacher marry your yeah. teacher and then you get um the, this leon is okay he's not bad with the arcane sword <laughs> yeah. shout out to the the leon stands now's your chance true there are definitely some leon stands uh, he was pretty popular in fire emblem 8 so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i can yeah. see it yeah i got carried away by the double specials that i completely forgot about the Christmas, even though, like, I don't particularly... Yeah, I don't know if it's just, like, the how the world... The state of the world, but I don't feel festive <laughs> this year. <laughs> so I don't really? really... I don't feel festive at all. <laughs> oh. I kind of agree. Like, Christmas is in a couple of days. I, I don't feel like it's Christmas for some reason. Same, kind of. I mean, It just well... feels like... It feels like the same as every other month so yeah, far Yeah, that's me. fair. I have family flying over, so, like, it feels a little bit, like holiday ask, but like not necessarily christmas i can understand that no i think it's just here but oh um once again it's a bunch of women and one guy but yeah we don't even get to see his face yeah. we don't get to see his face <laughs> I mean, to be fair it is one of the coolest guys in fire emblem it is yeah like if they had to do one guy they chose one of the best although as you know, I do like the Black Knight slash Zelgius. I wish we could have seen Zelgius in his cool red armor because we still haven't gotten yeah. that. His, his base armor. Yeah. Also, would have been really nice for a Christmas theme because it's like beautifully red. Yeah. I, I feel like they pulled off the Christmas look with him really good though on this yes. banner. Yes. Yes, I still think they did. Yeah. He's literally his, his a fridge. Artwork... <laughs> oh, they did a really good job on this art. I think. I would not have expected a character like Black Knight to look this festive. For yeah. Him. <laughs> I like the snow on top of the shoulder pauldrons. I think it looks really yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. He looks great. He does look good. Yeah. Um. So, tier 4 fighter skills. How do you guys feel about that? Mm. It's okay. I, I would like it more on other characters, I think, than him. I feel like what this guy wants to do is just have special Spiral 4 and just, like, one-shot everything with Black Luna. Yeah. There's also, like, I keep asking friends, like, should I go for a special? Because, you know, Black Knight is, like, a really fast armor unit, and Special Fighter is really a skill that you only really want to give to units that already have that guaranteed follow-up, because otherwise you'd just be running enemy phase skills. Mm -hmm. So I kept asking friends, like, is Special Fighter 4 worth it, or am I just better off with, uh, what is it called? I think it's called Savvy Fighter, the one that Lucina introduced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, that, and the I Speed DR. Yeah, and I feel like if you're not running that one or Hardy Fighter, then, like, you know, like, why else would you pick Special this one? I don't know. I'm not really sold on it as much as I want to. I'm really looking forward to yeah. Vengeful Fighter, though. Once that one gets an upgrade. I think they just made this one for longevity because it's a bunch of HP restoring. So maybe what they're thinking is like another option for like, instead of running the Hardy Fighter combo, they're like, oh, look at this one. You can self to sustain. But everyone's just like, just, yeah. just use Hardy Fighter. <laughs> Take zero damage. Yeah, I, I feel like this guy is probably best off as a damage dealer. And Savvy Fighter wouldn't even be that crazy on him because he already has dr on his weapon ah yeah it does 40 per the first attack by 40 percent mm, yeah that's true yeah huh uh, i don't feel like he needs the extra dr no he's probably solid with special uh spiral oh my god you guys is is the banner still up the oh yeah i'm more no. i was um being able to play with the special special spiral four i really think it's it's a must pull 
it's definitely a must pull. I, how many people did I get to summon on that banner that were gonna skip it? I, I remember after I did my live stream, I saw like a ton of other fate tubers just jumped in and summoned. It's so good. Special Spyro and the finish skills were meant for each other, and it's just I guess it's technically like plus ten flat tree damage. Is that what it's called? True damage when it's just the flat like five and five. Yeah, true damage. So it's basically free 10 damage and your piercing damage reduction, which, er which every unit seems to have some form of damage yes. reduction, be it first yes. attack or based on like a res check. So... Yeah, you know what else too? It, it can also pierce the deflect seals. So like deflect magic, deflect melee. You can get through those with Special Spiral 4. Yes! That's why I'm kind of like, like, I hope people, I hope people, um, summon for it, because it's such a good skill. It breathes such new life to old units. Damn, I wasn't planning on summoning for it. <laughs> there is a very good reason why I summoned on that banner. I try to avoid summoning for fodder just because merges mean so much more for my favorite units. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I do frequently sometimes regret not pulling for certain fodder. Oh my god, Jordy. Not... Jordy, at least get like one copy or something because I swear you won't regret it. I already burned through all my tickets though, so like I feel like it'd be ineffect inefficient now because I, I only did my free summon and then dipped. Well... I think a lot of people are in the same boat as you, Jordy, though, where they don't want to summon specifically for fodder. They just want to summon for the unit they want. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel. I, I, I told myself that, you know, this isn't the last time we're going to see Ophelia or Special Spiral 4. Like, either, either, it'll either get added onto another unit or we'll see rearmed units on, like, a hero fest or something. Yeah. So... So I I'm just opt mm -hmm. bet you this rearmed Ophelia is going to be on the Hero Rises this year. Yeah. Cuz it's going to be people are thinking it's going to be all red cuz we had so many cracked red units this year. Yes, Whoa. I've heard the same thing. Like When do we start do voting? Uh January, starts, I believe. It starts yeah, next month I think, right before the anniversary. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, the anniversary. Oh boy, I wonder how they're going to disappoint us all again. We'll, we'll get one orb. Yeah. <laughs> but Tokyo is right, though. Like, they've, we've gotten so many red units that I think that that's what people are going to attempt this year. Because, like, between Duochrom, um, Ophelia, help me out. There's a bunch of other red, reds that I'm missing. Edelgard. Embla. Embla. Veronica. Summer. Veronica. <laughs> Edelgard. Summer Edelgard. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. All of them are just nutty. They're very good. Yeah. I'd say Umbla, like a uh, Lord and Savior Umbla. I mean, we we see her in action right here. Wily is bringing her into the. I fight. welcome the the um, spiteful bat overlord into my life. Is she gonna be your next plus ten project? No. <laughs> You're out of your mind this if is... you think I'm gonna plus ten another legendary. <laughs> Okay, I, I know you guys don't care about the story, but like just to call back to the story for a quick sec, I was really mad that they killed Embla. It feels like they just killed her for no reason. Oh, she died. They they killed her. Oh, anyway. Um... <laughs> hmm. Well, Astra died too, and everyone was like, "What's the why? What's the point?" It's like they killed these gods for nothing. I I feel like they just didn't deserve to die in the way that they died so weird like Oscar died because he went into Embla's territory yeah it felt un like uh yeah, it was like undramatic. unnecessary yeah <laughs> anticlimactic I thought Ash was gonna die and I was waiting for that for her to die I was like tick tock Ash but I TikTok. guess <laughs> but I guess <laughs> Why are you, what do you have against Ash what did she ever do uh, nothing TikTok. actually it was just for my own amusement I was like well are you gonna die because she was like um like coughing and then she keeps talking in like paragraphs or whatever and i was like oh she's gonna <laughs> die because knowing knowing faye writing it's so obvious and they're like no ask her dies and i'm like oh well. what happened to her little to embla's little bat friend he died too oh, oh he Elm? died you're kidding me he died too yeah right right he died i don't he remember 
He was so unimportant that he died off screen. No way. They, not, they didn't show him die. They just. I remember they went when they went to Asker's territory. He followed them in there. And yeah. Then, that was the last we ever saw of him. We don't know where he is. I'm pretty sure he died, but they never really specified it. So, so his, wow. his fate is just like, who, who the hell cares? He, no one cared about him. Oh my god. That's why he didn't appear in like a mythic banner or whatever. Yeah, basically. I wonder would they even bother to put him in a in a banner? Because like with like Freyer, Freyer, the base Freyer never got into um, he never got released. So, and I yeah, feel like it's but... too late at this point. Never say never, because remember, we did get Fallen Gustav so late after book three. Oh, well. True. I feel like they might give us Freyr at some point. We might get Freyr. We might get Elm. We might yeah. still get Fafner, like base Fafner. We never got him. Yeah. I could see it happening, honestly. The art's already there in the game files. Yeah. They just have or to like... slap some skills on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think one of the data mines actually had info for that fallen Fafner. You guys remember that? No. Yeah. Well, the fallen Fafner where he... Was he a dragon? I think they counted him as being a dragon-type unit or something. I can't remember. I think he was treated like a dragon. Yeah, so that version of Fafner was actually in one of the data mines as a summonable unit. Oh. And they, they just never released him, though. Wow. Okay, I didn't know that part, so... You think he might be in, like, an, uh... You think it's too late for him to show up in a... Next year's Fallen Banner? Uh... I don't know, but... We'll say, I feel like they do plan to release some of the unreleased OCs at some point. But we'll probably get Base Sprayer. Probably get Fafner. Both of the regular Fafner and fallen Fafner and we'll probably get Elm at some point. I don't know when. Yeah, yes, loves the surprises. They're probably going to slap like really good skills on them to make it um make it what's the word I'm yeah, looking for? Enticing? Yes, enticing. They pretty much have to cuz those units are so old. <laughs> mhm. Mm it's always the men, too. Uh, just men getting shafted. What's new? Yeah. Um. I completely glossed you over... Mentioned that? It... Oh, go on. They really did that, huh? All of the unreleased OCs are men. Yeah. I mean, it's men. <laughs> yeah. Men have no rights, apparently. No, you guys don't, actually. So, yeah. repent, I guess. Repent? <laughs> yeah, they hate... They hate... The, unit, the male unit. Just look at Bruno. Bruno died. It's been yeah, the way Bruno, it's... Bruno died for nothing. Asker died for nothing. Like, th the cool men that people actually liked, they just killed for no reason. Yeah, they keep doing that. Over and over again. Book after book. Uh, going back to, like, the, the Christmas banner that I overlooked, how, like, men get shafted, how it's only Black Knight as, like, the only summonable, and then Bruno's the Tempest Trial, and then all the other are girls with, like, Either a demo or they're like a good good skills or a good harmonic, which is the Cordelia one that's basically um the triangle attack but differently. Oh my god. Yeah. Do we wanna yeah, look they... you, we should you should look at that actually. <laughs> yeah. They have they have this new thing called It's dual, dual strike. strike. Yeah, like Advance Wars. You guys played Advance Wars by the way? I did no. not, sorry. Okay, it's it's like Sis's first strategy game before they made Fire Emblem. Uh -huh. So it's, it's pretty dope, actually. It's it's I liked it more than Fire Emblem, but that was back in the day. I I don't know <laughs> if I would be as open to it now if they made one. Like back in the day when I was when I was on the GBA era, like I that. The first Advance Wars game, that one hit home pretty hard. <laughs> love that game. Then Dual Strike came out. Dual Strike was on DS. I love that game too. That's actually my favorite Advance Wars. Mm -hmm. So when I saw they named this new skill Dual Strike for the Catria, or the Catria, the Cordelia, 
I was like, I really just wish they had Dual Strike on that remake they made for Advance Wars, but it's just, it's not there. Oh. Is there anything new coming out? Um, no, Advance Wars has been dead. Oh, since <laughs> never mind. <laughs> yeah, Days of Ruin, Days of Ruin came out in... Oh man, I, I don't even remember what year, but I, I was in high school though. I do remember I got it in high school. Oh, so it's a, a really long game. time ago then. Okay. Yeah. It's like maybe 2010, 2012, somewhere around there. God. That's old. Yeah, it's it's a pretty old type of game, but it's also a very fun game. I would <laughs> recommend if you're a fan of strategy, it's not like super into waifus. There's not really any waifus. I can see why it died. Or... <laughs> yeah, there's, <laughs> there's no waifus. There's no like leveling up. It's not really an RPG at all. It's just a strategy game. Oh, mm. darn. It's like just a hardcore strategy game, but it's fun. Well, here's the Cordelia and she gives triangle attack too. And she's basically, um, she does things. I guess. She does things. Bride Catria 2 Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. So basically if she initiates, she gets attack and speed plus 6 and special cooldown charge plus 1. And then she has Clash because Clash is just Clash really good. Yeah. And Death Rest Hold, which is kind of... Uh... It's, I mean, it's fine on them. Is they it? don't have adaptive damage, right? No. That's no, what kind of they like, don't. Huh? I it's don't, I, it's for like the support like it, if you have another ally on the team that deals resistance damage it's for them right okay okay i, I guess this is where the three spaces comes in handy so yeah people are yeah, getting now, baited someone actually had a degenerate strategy with this unit that i didn't think of when i first saw them but if you have the fallen lilith or the regular lilith you can have them support with somebody on the team and then they're gonna get dual strike and they're also going to give out um no follow-up to themselves and the ally they support and when lilith jumps in she can instantly just get the dual strike effect she's gonna be she can warp adjacent to whoever she warps to oh. and you can give her dive bombs so she'll hit four times in a row that's oh my god <laughs> Do you think IS tests these? Like, they probably knew what they were doing, huh? <laughs> I I mean, there's like over 800 units in this game, so I don't expect them to immediately think of all the interactions. Right. But, but yeah, th them with Fallen Lilith seems like a pretty disgusting one. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> So their duo skill, by the way, they give treachery, which is pretty nuts. To oh yeah, Awakening and fates deals additional damage equal to total. Oh god! It, it's... Imagine Ninja Corin with freaking treachery. Ugh. Well, now I can because you spoke it into existence. And also, like I said, Fallen Lilith, who happens to be from Fates. So right, yeah. Oh. It's the perfect combo there. It really is. God. Okay. I didn't think anything of it, but holy shit. Of course, we have a dancer, a calf dancer, because they just want, want us a to suffer more. A calf dancer, <laughs> yes. Yeah, and can you believe, like, we get a calf dancer like this, and she's pretty good, but she's not even the best dancer. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that just goes to show how stupid the dancers are that we have right now. True. Yeah. The only thing is that she gives, um, Guaranteed follow-up attacks to the the recipient of the the dance or whatever, but there's like the yeah, that yeah. stupid ass Azura that's out being a menace. As Azura is just like her, but way better. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly we... for like the Dorothea stands because you know there are plenty yeah, of them. <laughs> poor Dorothea though, she's just locked in seasonal hell. Yup. <laughs> we can't get a non-seasonal Dorothea. I really thought that the next time we saw Three Houses Banner, we were finally going to get base Dorothea, but I no longer believe that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then we have it's the demo. Happening. Annette, yeah. Um, Annette, Annette is a pretty good merge project, I would say, because she scores solid, and we have a lot of good inheritable bows now. Yeah, I have somebody who... who 
already plus 10 to her, and they gave her the Wyvern bow that we just saw last yeah. month. That was what I was thinking. Like, give her that. You could Actually, she would be a pretty good unit to get special fighter for. I oh. Think. She doesn't have good speed, so if you could find a way to give her a follow-up, yeah. Are you sure special, spy special fighter for? Because with the brave bow, she just hits oh. twice anyway. Okay, yeah, you might not even need the, the follow-up. Actually, that's a valid point, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're just like, but Tacho, she has no speed. And then it's true. She, brave weapon. Her stats, <laughs> yeah, her stat spread is yeah, pretty like, min-maxed. I'm I'm gonna be salty about this forever. Is that when the ninja banner for this year came out and all the units were slow but they had good defense and people were arguing with me like you're stupid. These units suck. They can't quad. I'm like, dude, you don't need to quad. You just hit twice. <laughs> hit That's twice, a... two hits is enough to kill things. That is the point. That is literally their their goal to just be super tanky and to kill things in those two hits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. You still mad about it though? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be salty about that forever. <laughs> I have so many comments. They're like, you you're stupid, no Tasha. <laughs> So many comments on that video, like, dude, you're smoking. <laughs> These units blow. They suck. They, people <laughs> said that about Fiorm and Lake Jar, and I'm like, yo, are you? Are we looking at the same unit? <laughs> like that. That Fiorm and Lake Jar at plus ten is a nightmare. In some She's rituals, scary. if you have to fight them, they are just there's something else because they have so much bulk. Her weapon gives her extra bulk and like extra yeah. stats, like all the Lake Jarn units. Uh. The unit is insane. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do consider the Camila slightly scarier because of the built-in vantage. Oh, that it's one's so... stupid. It's She's so good too, Camilla. <laughs> it's so hard to beat that res check. Yeah. Not that I have and a problem, then... but. Uh -huh. I love that they <laughs> gave those new res seal skills. Like she has res seal four. Or yeah. seal res four and then seal defense four. Those skills are really strong, actually. They are. And, and people were like kind of sleeping on them when we saw them on that banner. Mm -hmm. Oh my I god! Though. I mean, I, I'll I'll be the first to say it. I wasn't sleeping on them. I knew they were pretty good. <laughs> no, people were throwing rocks at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're summoning. Oh boy. Oh. Hmm. Who do you, you want? Could, well, you there's only one choice. <laughs> Are you going to get Burger King? Oh, am I going to get Burger King tonight? Am I going to have it my way? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to have it my way. Aw, <laughs> oh, darn. Okay, time to never look at this banner again. Aw. You have a free summon on the other banner, too, this one. Huh? I have one on the double special banner. Oh, it's because... Hmm. Tempted to, to summon, but do I really want to summon? With New Year's summon, coming up. Summon past the free summon? Yeah, like... I would, I would not object tempting. to getting... I kind of want that Nina. <laughs> right, that's you her name? You won't regret it. That, that Nina is really good. You're not going to regret it. Hmm... She's the most fun unit I've been using this year. <laughs> huh. But also, I, I would wait for the legendary trailer at least because it's coming out tomorrow. God, are we already having another legendary? What happened? Where? What happened to November? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what do you mean? Like what happened to November? Like, didn't we just have a legendary? Oh yeah, it, time flies. That's what kind of what happened. <laughs> Where was I? Yeah. I've been working so hard for, and like, I'm on autopilot. That's why I don't even feel like it's Christmas time. It's That's like why I said in the beginning, time. I'm like, this. It doesn't feel like anything. I literally have to wake up and go yeah. to go to my um my shit ass job. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Huh. I'll think about it. Um. Lots of good fodder. I know there is. Oh God, I'm pretty much free to do whatever the hell I want. So. <laughs> Yeah, like, what are you going to well, put there, your or? Is there nothing else that you want that could come out? No. Even, like, Duo Julia? Uh. If it's Duo Julia and Deirdre. That's not going to happen. Wow, why are you lying to me? 
<laughs> I'm just saying it's a possibility. I'm waiting for the 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 Julia Deirdre Bound Hero battle. So, TikTok, I guess. Um, you're asking if I'm gonna plus ten, aren't you? Well, are you? Probably not. <laughs> Probably, I don't know. God are damn you it. done with plus tens for now? For now, yeah. Like, I guess the next one is the the duo Deirdre, and I'm gonna call her duo Deirdre because I can actually. But that's like a year from now. Hmm. Yeah. I think at this point, I'm just gonna try to get like the good stuff. Like, I'm already very content with Special Spiral Four. Okay. So, you could just do what I used to do: is just summon one copy of all the good units and then call it a day. Yeah, at this point, I'm free to do that because I got really lucky. I got really lucky with the legendary summons when I was trying to get Deirdre. I got really lucky with um that the the previous double special. I was able to get really good stuff. Yeah, I guess I'll just think it through. But any closing yeah. thoughts, you guys? Um, not really. I think we covered everything. Yeah, we covered a lot. Alrighty. Well. Oh, I, I guess maybe we could quickly talk about the book seven unit. There's a oh right yeah. Seder yeah. What do you guys think of Seder? Well, I already almost killed her for that <laughs> Stillwater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does have that. Oh, I pulled two of them in the legendary or the um. Oh my god. What the banner guy. was that? The Ophelia the, banner. Ophelia went. Yeah, the Ophelia banner. They color shared, right? Or no? No, no, oh, no. Oh, they no. didn't. Oh, my bad. No, but oh, it's because at this point there's so many, there's so many mythics, and I'm too lazy to keep rotating every season, rotating who to use. I'm kind of like, yeah, is her is this this is stupid ass skill that you just um stop you just stop someone someone's turn like as if astra and anima couldn't get any more yeah, beaten into the ground <laughs> what makes it crazy though is that you can stop the turn of multiple units uh, right? you have her in the right spot she could shut down like three units in a turn if she's in the right are spot. you sure but it says closest closest foes and if all of the foes are within the same amount of spaces of her she'll stop all of them oh i thought it worked like you know like the menace skills how it takes the closest foe it does. Menace does that too. If there's more than one foe in the same amount of spaces mm -hmm. away, it hits all of them. Oh, right. right. Huh, I guess I guess we're fucked then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As if Elimine wasn't already the nail in the coffin for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even have Elimine. Well, I don't even know. Like, I'm too lazy to even use her. I'm kind of like I already have like my set team. So. Oh, who am she, I kidding? I mean, she's good. For sure, she's good, but she she's not like a must use in my opinion. She's yeah. Sort of, if you like using her, go ahead. It's not gonna hurt, or it's gonna make you any stronger or any worse. Like to be it's honest, I'm not I'm not really even struggling in like Astra and Anima because it's, it's already I, like <laughs> defense is just dead. Yeah, I it's already like what, what you can do anything you want. <laughs> After they, the legendary Veronica just smokes everything. She she has no trouble at all beating all of the best or save units. They just they die to her. I regret like not summoning her in the legendary banner. I I got Embla, I got Nana, but I did not give Veronica, and I feel kind of mm. maybe uh, next you'll time. You'll get your chance soon. She'll be back she'll, soon. She'll be on a Hero Rises, I bet you. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think she'll also don't the they always rerun like three months after they de their debut or mm -hmm. something like that. I think yeah. so. Yeah, so she'll be back in February, so probably around the same time as the anniversary. Oh, okay then. Yeah, I got plenty of time then. But yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with these satyrs. I don't know if I should mer merge one merge them or like kill one of them for the still water. <laughs> um, I'll have to think that through. Anyways, here's the the Bruno I forgot about. Um, he's not dead. He has um, nothing, which is something that's pissing me off about IS is that they're so stingy with like the tier four skills. Like, it's yeah. so. Are you surprised by this? Point, I'm though? not surprised, but it's kind of like I see it all the time, and I'm kind of like, oh my god! Like, uh, it's how do I? 
I can't even articulate articulate my words. I'm so tired, but they Don't just really, really they really want you to pull for the new skills and like the every new unit. It's like yeah, they have the BST or or whatever nonsense, but they're basically yeah. unbuilt. It's like getting the that mass mark from so long ago with no skills. That's pretty much yeah. what it feels like. Cause yeah. what are you supposed to do with this? Yeah, not even I like say, though like they at at the very least what they should be doing is giving us level three finish and level three clash. By this yeah because if you summon one of the new units that have those skills at least you'd be able to get the level four and then get something else too yeah but that's just what all like the the tempest trial units and like the the um grand hero battle units they all feel like mass mark with like these skills that you're not gonna keep like you're not gonna get slap well maybe you will maybe we'll slap fury four on bruno because you're like that whatever do whatever nah, you want you wouldn't <laughs> He doesn't yeah. want Fury 4. <laughs> no. Well, I don't know. That's what I mean. I'm just like, I'm not surprised, but it's kind of like, it's it getting kind of old, like I guess. His... What also sucks, though, is that his weapon isn't even that good. They didn't give him a good inheritable tome. No, it's pretty crap. <laughs> Honestly, anybody like myself who is planning on plus 10 Bruno is just going to wait for the green arcane tome. Yeah. yeah pretty much. Yeah. Oh god, I guess. It's so predatory. They're like, oh, he comes with nothing, but we have all these good tier 4 ugly yellow border skills. They can't even be generous. We literally literally got three orbs for the and the books, books, book whatever we're on. Yeah. No, that <laughs> really that one hit a nerve because I noticed that, yeah. <laughs> all of the other rewards they gave out were a number 7 for yes. the 7 except the orbs. Yep. The orbs were a three. Like, why? Why couldn't it be seven orbs? I don't know if it's yep. just gotcha game um, tomfoolery with that. I don't know if all other gotchas do that. They probably do, but oh my god, no, I guess. No, you want to know how many stones we got in Dokkan? Are you going to talk about Dokkan? Oh, oh god. Here we go. <laughs> Over the course of the seven-year anniversary in Dokkan, we must have gotten like at least a thousand stones free to play just for logging in every day like they were giving out seven stones a day every time you log in and then they had this special map you could play that gave seven as well they gave us so much free shit and the free units were good too don't that's what i mean like, don't, don't even get me started don't don't get I, me talking about that yeah I yeah don't never. start ha <laughs> huh. so yeah um to the Bruno lovers, um, you have a lot. You got a lot of stuff to fill in with. Y yeah. <laughs> so you best start saving now. Yup. Um, That's what I'm gonna do. And anything else that I miss? I think that was it. Oh. Bruno's injured art. Oh. Very good. Fine. <laughs> he took. You can a end on that. It's pretty amazing, honestly. Yeah. That's that's the gift that keeps on giving, Aki. <laughs> you, you know what I love, though? He's ripping his own shirt. Yes. <laughs> it's like not the enemies. He's doing it. It's amazing. Like, he can't stand to be clothed while battling. Yeah. This is why people forgive him for not having any any good skills. <laughs> All is forgiven. Yep. Uh, no, th this was the, the reward they wanted people to have. It wasn't party. even, like, the unit. It was just the, the, the PNG. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, anyways, you guys, that pretty much covers what what's been going on in Fire Emblem Heroes. Um, thank you, Jordy and Tacho, for joining me. I'm glad we were able to do this once again. Yeah, absolutely. This is fun. It's been a long time since the last one, so I, I was happy to do one again. Yeah. All right, everyone. Hope you guys. I don't know when I'm gonna upload this, but um happy holidays or whatever have a portrait of naked bruno the gift that keeps on giving um mm -hmm. hope your summons go well get the units that you want or whatever um yeah that's it bye-bye everyone bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.